Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? I'm gonna blow your mind with another video today. That's right. So, growing up, I didn't know much about my grandma, okay? Uh, my maternal grandmother. I didn't know much about my paternal grandmother. I knew my paternal grandfather was English and Scottish. Uh, and the story, from based on what I could piece together about my paternal grandpa, uh, his mom was born in Norway. His dad was English, but born in Springfield, Mass. Um, yeah, so I did a DNA test, and this is what I found out. So I'm 40% European, um, and I am... I have 34% uh, ancestry from the Mediterranean Basin. I have 19% ancestry from the Caucasus region. And I have 2% ancestry uh, from the uh, two, almost 3% ancestry from the Arabian Peninsula. Um, from North America, I have one, almost 2% ancestry. Um, Siberia, 1%. Uh, South Asia, almost 0.6%, 6, 6 uh, and East Asia, 0.02%. Um, now, uh, my, what's it called? My ethnic makeup uh, of my European percentage is predominantly Dutch, Hungarian, English, Belgian, German, Romanian, Irish, Croatian, uh, Czech, Scottish, French, Norwegian, Swedish, and Icelandic. Okay, now my on my Mediterranean percentage, it's mostly um, Bedouin. Uh, we're from El Terebin, Bedouin, uh, which is the descendants of the Qurosh people, which is related to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, in the Mediterranean category, we also have Egyptian or Jordanian, Egyptian, Palestinian, and Lebanese, Turkish, Jew, and Syrian. Uh, from the Arabian Peninsula, we have Yemeni. Oh, my most recent percentage is Yemenite Jew, uh, and Yemeni and uh, Saudi. Okay, and then if we go to um, another test I did because I wanted to learn more about the African side the at, and like what percentage was Egyptian. So here they have West Asia. They combine French. So this is a test for uh, mixed European and African people. So if you have African and European heritage, this test is for you. Uh, and they, what they do is they mix West Asia, Egypt, Libya, up with Europe so that's why it can be a little confusing because I know and that's why they gave me 81% French 15.5% uh, 15 15 North African uh, and that's Amazi like Tahelchit, Cable, ethnic groups like that from like Morocco and Algeria uh, Amadic they gave me 2.65 about uh, and that's from the Horn of Africa so like Tigrinya Afar, um, Somali, Amhara, stuff like that. And then 0 0.4 Hadza, which is from um, the area around Lake Tanganyika. And oh, yeah, that's from Tanzania. So, and then if we go to the population source, uh, French is most, most recent, then Egypt, Egyptians, Libya, Algeria, northern Morocco, Amharic comes in at number six. Or no, number seven. Um, and that's from Ethiopia. Uh, Tigrinya from Ethiopia comes in at number eight. Ethiopian Jews, number nine. And so on and so forth, right? Now, I did another test. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's for individuals who are mixed with uh, West Asian and African heritage using Palestinian as a proxy for West Asian. And no surprise, 90, so they combined the 90% Palestinian. They, what they did was they combined North Africa, Western Asia, and uh, Europe into one category and called it Palestinian. 
Uh, most of my ancestry comes from Western Asia, uh, North Africa, and Europe, of course. Omotic, so the Horn of Africa, 6%. Mbuti Pygmy, Pygmy so Central African, um, like 1.3%. Hadza, 1.23. East Africa, 0.71. Um, and Eastern Bantu, 0.35. <clears throat> And this is this is what shocked me. The most closest population to me was Morocco North, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, you saw the other tests. It's it's Egyptian. It's uh, Bedouin, Naqab Bedouin, Jordanian, Yemeni Jew. Like that's those were the closest populations uh, from Africa and from Asia. Now we switch back. Two, I thought Palestinian would be number one, but it's number two. Um, these numbers don't make sense. The six, seven point six three. Oh, okay. So the Palestinian, the seven point six three, does make sense, but that's because there's been a lot of mixing between Egyptians, Palestinians, Jordanians, uh, and Bedouin, uh, in Asia and in Africa. You know. So we have Algeria, Mozabite, and then we have Moroccans, um, Libya, Egypt, Sahrawi, Egyptians, Southern Morocco, uh, Tigrinya, then Amhara, and then Ethiopian Jews. Um, yeah. So all in all, basically, I'm North African. I'm West Asian, and I'm European. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, basically, my dad's British, British, German, and hung Hungarian, and Dutch. Uh, my mom's biracial or multiracial, uh, Egyptian, Palestinian, Jordanian, Bedouin, um, English, some German and Dutch mixed in, some Irish and some Scottish mixed in, somewhere, around, somewhere in there. A little bit of French mixed in, a little bit of Norwegian, a little bit of Iceland, you know? But, you know, that's that's who I am. Oh, and a cool fact. A uh, cool fact about the Bedouin tribe I'm from. Uh, my grandma's from the Bedouin tribe called El Terebin. Uh They're descended from the Korosh people of Saudi, and, which is where the Arabian Peninsula in the first test I showed you, that's where that comes in. And they're descended from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, and... Yeah, and then another cool fact I found out uh, when because I, I did the whole ancestry thing before I came up came over and did the Jed match thing because you know ancestry they fucked up my results. Um, they gave me less Arab ancestry than I actually have, even though my grandma is literally a hundred percent Arab. Well, not a hundred percent, but like seventy five percent Arab. My grandma's seventy five percent Arab and like twenty five percent. Turkish and Kurdish, right? So, um, basically, uh, something I learned when I did the whole ancestry family tree or whatever is that uh, my mom's auntie was married to one of my dad's distant cousins. So all my cousins in Delaware that are the daughters of my mom's auntie, that's the older sister of my paternal grandpa, all of them are my dad's cousins too. British people. And they have the same last name as my dad, as my paternal grandpa. Their, 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 so no, their maternal, no, their paternal grandma has the same last name as my paternal grandpa. And they're from the same exact town, as far as we know, same exact town in England, a town called Krukern. So I thought that was something interesting. And, and their dad, so their, so the wife, or no, the husband of my mom's auntie, He's English, he was Italian, and he was German and Syrian. So they're also part Arab too. So there you go. Basic, to sum it up, basically, I'm African, Asian, and European. I'm, and all the African comes from Egypt. All the Asian comes either from, uh, from Palestine, Jordan, Yemen, Saudi, Turkey, uh, Iraq, and Syria, 
and all the Europe, the majority of the European comes from England, the Netherlands, Hungary, Germany, Scotland, Croatia, Belgium, and Ireland. Yeah, so that's basically what I am. Uh, please like, subscribe, post notifications, share, whatever, you know. Write in the comment sections what your DNA tests were. Um, be nice about it, too. And that's pretty much all I got to say. Peace.